In Design for Assembly version 10, we've tried to make it easier to incorporate both the worksheet and suggestions for redesign right into the main window where you work. So here, I've opened the sample motor file, I've selected the motor base, but if I want to, I can change to a worksheet view by simply clicking this button here at the top of the structure chart that says Worksheet. You can see that then provides me with the worksheet where I can, if I want, review any of the data. I can drag and drop the columns around to change their positions. I can actually edit the data here if I want to. So if I wanted to click on the sensor and review some of its information, I can then click on the questions button and that'll bring me right back to the questions view for the sensor. So the worksheet is much more integrated into the process by which you could do a design for assembly analysis now. Once you've completed your design for assembly analysis, you might be interested in reviewing the suggestions for redesign. I would click the redesign button and the software brings me to a redesign view of the product structure where we've broken out the suggestions for redesign into three categories. Category 1 suggestions, category 2 suggestions, and category 3 suggestions. I can actually work live here in the um, in the redesign view and so if I wanted to manipulate the structure edit parts, delete parts, I could do that from right here within the software. You can see for the grommet, for example, that's actually being flagged as a candidate for elimination, um, and I can see what the process time um, associated with that operation is. So if I wanted to, I could right-click if I thought, gee, I could incorporate the grommet into the end plate if I change the material of the end plate. Uh, then I could simply delete the grommet from the process tree right here, and I could see what the impact um, that had on the bottom line uh, total process cost and total labor time as a result of making that change right from within that redesigned worksheet itself. So those are category one items. Category two items, these are parts that are highlighted now whose sole function is to fasten, parts whose sole function is to connect, there are none in this example, and separate operations which are considered in theory to be not required. And then finally the category three difficulties of handling and insertion. You can see here things highlighted in two colors. Uh, the lighter yellow color represents parts that have a single difficulty. The darker parts have multiple difficulties. And so if I wanted to look at ways to improve the uh, assembly process, I could simply click on the sensor, click on the questions. I can see the different difficulties that have been assigned here, two hands due to flexibility and not self-locating, and I can think about what are the things I could do in the design of the product to allow me to eliminate those different difficulties.